Well, Benazzi was leading at the end of day one, and whilst there have been changes on the leaderboard, Amar Air stay on top at the end of day two. Well, they started the day, what, 20 points off the lead, but for the first time ever, Team GAC pinned a lead at the end of day two. Well, the wind's arrived and the Lingi are just unstoppable out here. And they lead going into the final day. Well, we've seen big crowds all week, but thousands and thousands are here today. Many arrived hours before the racing was even scheduled to start. Final day, seven teams in contention for a podium place. Lingi have been really on, on top form the last few days. Doesn't mean it's over. You know, if they have a couple of bad races, then we ought to play for, for the win for, for anyone in the top seven. The winds are light. It's tense. But it was Alinghi who defended their position at the top and win their first act on this year's Extreme Sailing Series. Really happy for, for the crew, for Jan, for all the show crew also to, to show to the others that uh, we, can, we can win and we can, uh, we can make it. Just one event to go, can Group M and the Rothschild win after two seasons as runners up? Will we see Luna Rossa walk away with the title in their first season? And after two years as winners, can an Amani team make the podium this year? Well, there's now time to breathe before the Extreme Sailing Series Tour Decider. That's in Singapore. It starts December the 9th.